www.sites.com if you haven't already signed up for a free trial or you can click the link in this video in the description and you can start a free trial and follow along as we're going. So if you go to my website you can just click on this banner right here and that will take you to Shopify. So, so we're just going to enter our email address and we can get started. So you'll create a store password. So once you enter a secure password, please write it down somewhere or use a password program even better. So this name right here can be anything. It doesn't have to be what the final name of your store is going to be because you're going to buy a custom domain. You can either do that right through Shopify or through GoDaddy and we'll get into that next. This next screen you can just actually hit next. You want to make sure you put in accurate information here because this is going to be what goes into your admin. So just fill out your name, address, phone number, and uh, any other pertinent information, and then click enter your store. Once you enter the store, you'll be on a trial plan. You can select a plan if you like right down here at the bottom. This is your admin for Shopify, and this is where you are going to set up your website. So. Um, We'll just do a brief overview of the website right now. So you start out on the home page here. These are your menus on the left hand side right here. But on your home page, uh, Shopify gives you some good direction on what you need to do to set up your store. And the first thing you might want to do is add some products. Uh, we'll get into each one of those. Customize your theme. They give you a free theme or a template but they are also a lot of free templates that you can choose from or free, they call them themes in Shopify, or free templates. Uh, so you can basically look and see exactly and then you can add your own domain as I mentioned earlier. So you can go in and uh, it's going to tell you what you need to do to add Facebook and if you want to sell using their POS, the point of sale system for retail. Uh, this is how you get into your admin right here and this will get you to your so this domain right here and your domain uh, that you have on Shopify is actually this part without the admin so if you were to go here this domain right here will take you to the store so you can always click right here in the upper left hand corner and go there as well so if you click there it's going to show you so what you want to do is probably add a custom logo maybe some navigation menus, uh, put in an image right here and a banner uh, image for the top of your website, uh, some featured items possibly, and uh, so this is the default theme that Shopify has given you and it's free and you can just basically plug in the items that you need. So this is live on the web right now but most people won't be able to get to it because it's password protected as you can see in the upper right hand corner but when you click from your admin and you click right here it will take you right to it without having to enter a password so you can turn that password off when you're ready to make it live and um, instead of going to this dot my Shopify domain uh, when you're ready to go live you can just purchase a domain or connect it to a domain that you already own like a let's just say we owned jewelry2017.com we could connect it to that domain okay so now let's go over the admin a little bit more now just to be clear when I say this is the home of your admin not the home page of your website so but you will build your website from within the admin so this is basically the back end of your website and then if we click over to this other tab that I opened this is the front end of your website now what's cool about Shopify is you can actually go in and let's just go through each of these you can go in and you can see your site as you're building it within a little preview so I'm just gonna go through these menus real quick uh, this is where your orders will be uh, you also have the ability to create orders if you want to do phone orders, uh, but your orders will show up here when people order online. Uh, let's go back through here, and then this is your products. This is where you're going to add your products and collections. Let's just go ahead and add a product very quickly uh, just to see that process. So um, basically all you need is a title and a you don't have to have a description but an image would be great so ideally you're going to have a title a description and an image and a price uh, so those are kind of your bare minimums to create a product 
Uh, you can track inventory or not track inventory. If it's something you make, for instance, then you don't may not need to track inventory. But uh, if you order from someone or um, you know you order product and you have a certain amount on hand, then it's a good idea to track inventory. So uh, let's just go through. The more information you can fill out, the better. But you don't have to have a lot of information to get started. So let's just go through and create a quick product to give you an idea how to do this. So I've just added a title here. Now I'm going to add a description here. So I have a description and I'm just going to put in a, an image real quick and just upload it by clicking the upload image there. Now I have an image on the product. If you want to create a category or a product type, I could call this jewelry or earrings. These are earrings. so. And this item type just helps you to um, categorize the product. So I'm going to add this as a product type. It will be a default type. A type is required, so it will be default type if you don't create one. And I'll just create a vendor on this product. And uh, now as far as collections and tags go, I'll talk to you a little bit about those later. Tags can be used to categorize products into collections. So maybe I would call this I want to call it jewelry or I could call it uh, something else just to have it as a tag on the product to help me to categorize it a little more easily when I'm creating collections. So uh, down here we want to put in a price. Let me just see what the price on this item is. And if you want to compare that price to show a sale for instance you can put it in here so let's just say And if you want to put in a SKU, you can put it here, barcode here. If you want to track inventory, you can track it and then it will ask you for the quantity. So I'm just not going to track inventory on this. And then a weight right here. And uh, that's pretty much all you need. If you had variants and sizes or something like that or colors, you could add them as well. And you would click Add Variant. So that's pretty much everything you need and you've created a product. So now if we want to view this and see what it's going to look like on our new website, all we have to do is hit this button that says View. And this is what it would come up like on our current template. Now different templates will display the products differently. So let me just show you another site how this displays on the product page. So you can see this displays a little different on this page as opposed to this page. The button is different. You, of course you can change a lot of those things but the font is different. And those can be changed in the theme settings as well. But uh, these are really two different themes and you only have the options that are included in the theme that you have as far as how the page is going to display. So there's how one page is displaying and this is how another page is displaying. So pretty dramatically different as far as the way the two sites look you know you have your the way your layout is uh, your colors your text so that just gives you an idea of how the product can display differently on different themes so let's go back into the product and take another look at um, how we want to put this in a collection and then create some navigation menus so that we can get to this product and possibly display it on our home page as well so if I click back on products here, this will take me back to all my products. So I only have one product. I'm going to go ahead and really quickly create a couple more products just so we'll have something to work with here. So I'm just going to add product here in the upper right hand corner and then uh, put my title in, put a description in. an image this one will be bracelets we'll just create a category for it or an item type for it vendor it's going to be the same so once you have one in you can start typing and it will come up now if you have what are called manual collections you could look in all the collections that you have and you can start adding them to it and you've always got one called home page and you can always add it to home page but we're going to go in and create collections I like to create what are called smart collections and I have a tutorial on that as well but we'll create uh, some quick collections after we create these products so let's just go ahead and put a quick price in 
and I won't put a compare at price just so you can see the difference. Uh, not tracking inventory. It's a good idea to put in weight. If you don't have weight uh, and you're using some sort of calculated shipping, it won't uh, calculate your shipping. Uh, but you can put in flat rate shipping and regardless of whether you put in weight or not, it will calculate it. So we just go back to products here and just add a product again. Put in a title. Really, uh, if you're using the app, the only thing you really need are a title and a description, uh, a title and a price to create a product. And you can use the app on your phone. Uh, I'll try to preview that later. I do have a video on that as well, creating products from right from the app, which is uh, very handy. Go ahead and add another cat or another product type. And these product types, I kind of mimic the categories that I'm going to create a lot of times when I create uh, item types. And it just makes it easy in creating my categories, or as Shopify calls them, collections, which you can see on the left hand menu over here. <clears throat> add one more product and we'll have enough to really kind of flesh out the site with several products on it. So now I have a few products. I would like to make some collections and include these products in collections. So we look at the tab on the left, well, let's go back over to our, our main menu over here. Uh, this tab that looks like a price tag, that's your products, and this also includes collections in this sub menu. So if we go to collections, we've automatically got one called home page, which is a manual collection. That means that you can just put items in that. I like using what are called smart collections, and I'll just show you how to do a smart collection real quick. So uh, let's just create one called earrings and we're going to automatically select the products based on their conditions so if the you could do if the title contained earrings or you could do we're going to, I like using item type and that's why I try to make item types uh, something that will be um, match the collection so now my earrings will automatically go into this collection so if I uh, look after I saved that, which I did, I gave it, all you really need to do is create a title. You can create a description, but it's not required. So you see those products that had earrings as an item type automatically went in here. And then I can sort these any way that I want. Uh, if I want to manually sort them and I want this one to come first on the page, I can do that. Or I can do this. So, so when I save that, I can just click on View. And this is what my collection for my earrings is going to look like on my page. So now it's starting to shape up where I have some content in my collection and um, I can filter my collection by tags. So this one I tagged, the other one I didn't, and that way I can, if I would have tagged them by colors for instance, I could bring up all the blue ones or maybe a certain style that I tagged them with. So that's where this little filter could come in handy. Uh, and then I can sort these by best selling and highest to lowest price for instance. So if I want to see everything I just go to all my products and that's everything for this collection called earrings. So now let's go back and uh, let's just upload an image for this collection. We'll just use these earrings and now if I'm showing the collection called earrings I will have an image for the collection. I'll show you where that would come into play later. So if I want to add a couple more collections, just hit create collection in the upper corner here and see if we can do uh, bracelets and that would just be product type equals bracelet. Save that collection and you got a product in that. Go to collections on the left hand menu, create another collection, let's call it necklaces. That's just going to be item type like I created. And that's going to be necklaces, of course, or a necklace. 
and there's my necklace in there and then let's do one real quick called jewelry and this will just encompass all of them and this will just show you a quick way so this will be product type equals it's going to be necklace and then I'm going to add another condition is type is equal to earrings and then one more type is equal to bracelets so I have three conditions that I've created if I want to delete one of those I can just delete it but I can't have it match all conditions because you can only have one product type on an item so under product matches if you're not seeing any products come up when you save it it's because it can't match more than one condition. I'm going to have it match any condition. So if it's a necklace, an earring, or a bracelet, it will come up in my jewelry collection. So now when I do that, all of my items come up. So now we've created some collections. So now we have a few collections and we've got a few products here. Let's start to build out uh, going down this list customers this will show the customers that have purchased from you um, or people that have signed up for your newsletter on the site so that would show us prospects we can just take a quick look we don't have any you can add them manually or you can import them from a spreadsheet use Google Sheets when you're doing it from a spreadsheet it'll make it much easier um, then then we have reports uh, we're gonna have uh, we'll just take a quick look at that that will show you sales by month and some other things uh, reports are available or detailed reports are available in uh, the Shopify plan which is the middle plan so uh, and then you have the dashboard which will show um, on your main on your main page for reports so uh, we have discounts, which you can set up discounts on products, like a 10% off coupon, for instance. You can just go in, create a coupon. We'll skip that for right now. This tab right here with the globe, that's the online store. And this is going to show uh, your theme. And this is where you will basically build your website. You see a preview of what we looked at before on the home page. So if we click here, this will take us to the home page on our site. And what you're seeing is this uh, is the home page collection. So that's why it's showing one of those products that we created. Uh, let's go and look at how we can actually populate other things on this theme. And that's where we do it here is on the online store. So you see I have a couple tabs open and I'm flipping back and forth between the website view and the admin view. So right here on the online store, uh, we're using what's called the debut theme. That's a brand new theme that Shopify is using and it really does have some pretty cool features and it's one of the free themes. So let's get right into it. So if we go to customize theme, it's going to give us a preview of this site. And here's our top image slide and this is actually uh, overlay text. Uh, so let's take a look at some of the features. So it starts right at the top with the header which is up, up top right here and um, let's see how we can design this header here. So let's go ahead and just center the name of our store and let's upload, we'll just, I'm just gonna use the Tiramisu logo on this. It's a little bit small. So what you can do is you can change that logo width. Let's change it to 500 pixels. And now you see it previews over here and a larger uh, preview of it. So, um, We've got our main menu below. We could choose any menu we wanted to put right here where home and catalog are, and that's our main menu. And then we've got announcements. Announce something here. Let's see what that does. That puts it right here. So let's just say that we had uh, free shipping. Uh, orders. Over fifty dollars. So this is like a hello bar, basically, where you can put in, um, you know, store messages at the top of the screen, and you can actually put a link into that, and that could link to your shipping page or shipping uh, policies, for instance. So you would put your link right here. 
you could link it to a page. So say we had a page that we set up for shipping, and we'll get into that later. Uh, and then we can just change our color. I like that color kind of, but let's say we want it to be a little bit bluer or blacker. We got a little bluer here. We just change our color. We hit this color palette and just drag it to where we want, or we can actually put in a color number if you get it from Paint or Photoshop or something. You can take that number and just paste it right in there. So let's go ahead and save our change there. And we can just back it out also using this editor. Uh, it's got a clear, which, uh, and then we can also preview on different devices. So we can say, okay, so this is what our new site would look like on a mobile device or on a small screen. So that's a pretty cool feature to preview what's going to look like. And this is, of course, all responsive. In other words, it responds to the screen size or mobile friendly, as they call it. So let's go hit back out of the header and get to our our main uh, image right here and that would be image with overlay text so if we want to change this image right here we're just going to upload an image and see how that changes our image there and we could change this overlay text to We can choose our size of our section, so if we want it to be a little bit larger, we can say we want it to be large, and see how this becomes a very large image, or we can go small, and we can make it very small. So you really have a lot of flexibility in how you want this to display. <clears throat> and we have our featured collections. Let's go out of the uh, banner here, which is called, um, now it's called Luxury. You will love it. It takes on the name of this text that we use for the overlay text. Next, we have our featured collection. So if we look below, there's just one item right now, and that is the home page collection. So let's look into that featured collection right here and right here we can change the name of it on the title if we want to call it something else but let's choose the collection that we want so we have earrings that has multiple items so let's use earrings uh, it's showing three per row let's change that to four per row and let's just use one row and that will keep it a little bit cleaner so save that and then go back to featured collections and our next uh, next section right here is image with text. So let's just enter an image here. Upload an image. And then our text we can have image on the left, image with text. Let's call this um, called the SAR Boutique. So we just go over the language. You can actually do some formatting, make things bold in here. So now we have a nice little section in there. We could put a button and a label on, on this image, and we could create a link too, but we're just going to uh, put a little section in there that has a little something about the boutique. So now we've got some content on the home page here. Uh, I don't have any slides, so let's go over here and we have a slideshow here. Let's just say we want to delete this section. So we could put slides in here if we had them, but I'm just going to delete that section. Now one of the cool things about this new Shopify um, theme, and this is being built into future themes, uh, free and paid, will be the add section. So if I just want to add a section, I can just click add a section. I can add any type of content that I want. So I can add a map. If I was a retail, had a retail location, I could add a map of where our store was. Uh, if I went to add some testimonials, I could add that. Um, really quite a few different uh, options here. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a blog post, but I'll need, to, I'll need to create a blog post first. So let's go ahead and do that. So I'm going to go not add a section. I'm going to go back to the admin here. I'm just going to go into 
under themes or online stories you also have blog posts, navigation, uh, domains and preferences uh, so and pages so if you want to create a page called shipping policies or frequently asked questions you go in and you create it just like you would anything else add a page add some add a title and add some content but what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a blog post so I'm going to add a real quick blog post here I'm just going to create a title so uh, wherever I want my image to be, I'm just going to hit this little image. I'm going to upload a file. This really just works uh, very similar to any kind of uh, word processor. You can uh, insert files. So you can insert files. You can highlight text and then put a link in that text or you can highlight an image and insert a link. Uh, you can change the formatting of your text right here make it paragraph or heading. So um, you can make your text bold if you want something to be in bold or if you want to be in italics. So uh, centered items, bullet list, very much like a word processor. So we can save this, do a quick preview of it, and click customize theme. And now let's go ahead and add a section that has a blog. So if uh, we want to get rid of this we did before, So now we've added our blog content. If I put in a little excerpt on the blog, it will show a picture for the blog. So by adding an image to the blog, see how it puts a nice image and it would have three blogs, your most recent three blogs going across. So now we've got a pretty good uh, website and we can just go in finish up our settings for shipping and accept payments and we're pretty much uh, getting ready to go. So I'm going to go back over to the tab of the live website and just reload this page and now we've got a little bit more content on the page so it's really kind of starting to look like a more of a full website. So the catalog will show all the products that we have but we could change um, this navigation menu to maybe say jewelry and have a drop down with earrings, bracelets, or uh, we could have um, we could have a shop menu where it goes to all products instead of the catalog. So let's just go ahead and really quickly add a navigation menu. So this is our main menu. Uh, instead of adding a menu, we're just going to edit this menu. So if you click on any menu, you can just add the items that you want to it. So let's just add. Um, Let's add jewelry and make it a drop down so we can show you how to do a quick drop down menu. So there's your home page menu. Let's make that jewelry and we'll put that over here. Let's just get rid of catalog. Click save. And then let's add another menu. So if we hit navigation over here on the left, now we can see jewelry is here. And then add menu. And let's create a menu called Jewelry, and this is how you create a drop-down menu. You just match the same name, the handle has to be the same here. And then you add in your earrings. And let's connect it right here to a collection, and that's to our earrings collection. And that's where, when you click on that menu, this is where it will go. So let's go ahead and uh, make bracelets.
and then let's go back to that uh, navigation menu on the main menu. I'm going to edit jewelry and I didn't connect it to anything so I need to connect this so when someone clicks on jewelry it goes to all the products. There we have it. Now if we preview on our page by just reloading our page, see we have a little drop down here and we have our just our earrings, just our bracelets, and just our necklaces. So that picture on earrings can be fixed. Uh, that's the, the featured image and that can be changed by changing that or removing the featured image. Let's see what it looks like when you go to an item on the page. So now it's shaping up to be a website. So now let's go ahead and we can add sales channels. Uh, these are the different sales channels that are available. We've got um, Facebook, House, Messenger, mobile apps, Pinterest. Uh, these are all uh, integrating with Shopify. So the, one of the primary benefits of Shopify is that it has all these technology partnerships. and. Uh, you can add those channels by clicking on learn more. So if you want to make uh, any additional adjustments to the way the store looks you can go you'll see that there's two tabs you have the sections tab and these can all be moved around by the way so you can drag this section and say oh I want this to be below this here so you can really change the look of your website by moving these sections around so they're all uh, really flexible as far as moving them around uh, but you can click on the general settings tab and you can change your colors, uh, your text colors and the general settings uh, of your whole website. The background color, if you want to have a background color on your website, you could change that. Uh, we can just clear it like I was telling you before. Typography, if you don't like the text that's being used in the typography, we can change the general text. You see how that changes the general text on your website. See how it just changed here under Featured. Uh, that will uh, generally work throughout the website as well. So social media, this is where you add your links to Twitter, Tumblr. So you just copy whatever your uh, Facebook um, or Twitter uh, links are to your store. Just copy that. It would be forward slash the name of your store.com, for instance. And um, fill those in, and then we'll come up on your website as well. So um, let's see, the favicon, that would be the little, uh, this is a favicon here, this little um, symbol that will come up on the tab in a browser. So you'll have to do a, a certain format for a favicon. You can customize your checkout on, uh, when people go to the checkout page, you can add a, um, you can add a logo, for instance, uh, in here. So this has all the settings for uh, doing your checkout page if you want to customize it. So that pretty much uh, is everything for the design of the site. So you can see the site. This is basically what we have here. So we've created a site very quickly in about a half an hour and even gone through some of the features and uh, people can go onto that site. They can click on the image, they can add it to cart, and they can purchase those items. So. It's a pretty fast setup, so and it's a very quick uh, platform to get to know. And there's tons of support, tons of videos, uh, plenty of experts, which is what I'm a Shopify expert. So if you need help, you can always hire a Shopify expert. But we'll go into the settings now and take a look at the settings. So if you click on the gear icon at the bottom, you can go to settings and then choose the sub menu payments, and just click complete account setup. It's pretty self-explanatory, but once you have this set up, you can accept payments from Shopify. Uh, you're just going to put in your bank account number, your address, uh, your last four digits of your social uh, to confirm the person who is uh, connected to the bank account, the name of your business, and you're good to go. So you can use PayPal as well. That's very easy to set up. Simply click on it, log in. Uh, Amazon payments if you use that and there's several other different uh, forms of payments that you can use so 
using Shopify payments is very simple. Uh, so that's one of the easiest things to do. Uh, setting up shipping down here on this tab. Uh, so setting up shipping, you have some standard rates that have been put in by Shopify. If you don't want one of these rates, you can just uh, click and edit your rates. And uh, then you can go down. I don't want a heavy goods rate. I can change that. I can edit the rate that's in there. If I want to make it free shipping, I could just click this and now it's free shipping. Uh, I can put a maximum weight, but it's really just going to be free shipping. Uh, so we can do price based rates or we can do weight based rates. So, um, so we could say free shipping only on orders that are over $100, for instance. So let's just say I want to do the price base. So we just basically go, I think we said $50 free shipping. But we would need to create another rate for under $50. So let's just say for under $50, we're going to be $4.99. That would be our standard shipping rate. $49.99 and then we'll add another price base rate that's uh, free shipping over 50 so now you've got your $4.99 shipping for anything under 50 and then anything over 50 is uh, is going to be free and you can save that. You want to check your taxes, make sure it's set up on the right rate. So you want to check the United States. If by default it's going to do your local, uh, it's going to add your physical presence in your local area and it'll set your tax rates there. So um, that's pretty much it. So when you're ready to launch, uh, you'll want to take the password off your site by going to preferences and then going to the bottom of the page. Uh, and then just uh, removing that store password. Uh, you'll need to pick a plan to remove that store password so you can do that right here. Uh, you want to fill out the title of your page and a description of your page as well. Uh, then you want to go to domains. Uh, domains are where you can just uh, add an existing domain or you can buy a domain. I recommend just the easy thing to do, uh, very simple to do, is if you don't already own a domain, just click here, buy a domain, and then once you've bought a domain, you can connect that uh, using Shopify. So uh, if you have an existing domain, you can click it here. So um, that's what you're going to need for that. And um, once you have your domain connected, uh, which is very simple to do, you'll point uh, the, all your domains to um, to your main domain, whichever one you choose. So it will give you the www version and the um, what's called the naked URL, which would be like, let's just say it was jewelry2017.com, uh, that would be the naked, or there'll be the www. But uh, generally, if it's a new domain, you want to point it to the jewelry2017.com, and then that would point your Shopify store towards that domain and all of the all of the domains would uh, redirect to that domain. So it's very simple to do. So if you buy it through Shopify, it makes it uh, very simple to launch your store. So check out tutorials at Pinehurst websites. This is Kevin King. I hope this